Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, this shouldn't be a long one, but I thought it would be a great idea to compare the original EcoFlow 160 watt panel to the new 160 watt panel. Now in this video, I am gonna do a visual comparison and I'm going over specs, all right? But we'll definitely take a close look at these two, show you what they include, so why don't we go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor, but Keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up solar specs for both of these panels. And I'm going to put the solar specs right there on top of each of these panels. So you get to see not only the wattage, but the voltage and the amperage, okay? So take a look at that, hit pause, and we're gonna continue on now and actually take a close look at these two. Okay, so let's just go over what they include. So the original 160 watt panel includes a case that acts like a kickstand. It also has these. These will actually connect depending on the angle. So I'll show you that. It also includes a um, solar cable. This is an XT60i cable that you're getting to MC4. This comes with the solar panel, okay? Now the new solar panel, the new 160 watt, comes with the solar cable, but it actually has a built-in kickstand, so you're gonna wanna see that, all right? Uh, I'm gonna start off opening up the original. I'll set it up so you can see what it looks like and how you can angle it. And then I'll also show you the new one right after that. And then we'll actually have both of them side by side. All right, so here is the handle. You get a cushion handle, which is nice. Again, you get this zipper to uh, open this up. Just take a peek real quick and then I'll open it up. You get these little zipper straps here. They work really well. Um, these kind of go away once in a while. Just be, be careful. These come off. Uh, I've, I've actually lost a few of these, but they've sent me some. So if you ever lose these, you can just uh, contact EcoFlow. They should be able to send you them. But we'll go ahead and crack this open. So here's the original 160-watt panel. So you can see here your solar cables are right here on the side. I'm going to leave those closed because we're not connecting. We're just doing a visual. Um, the specs were just put up a moment ago comparing both. But um, I want you to notice that the, the top part is hard and the bottom part is soft, right? And so basically this is your kickstand. This is actually what helps you keep the solar panel up, which is interesting, right? So that's, that's your kickstand and this is your panel. All right, um, let me open this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So you're gonna to wanna to take these and put them on all four corners. All right, so you just take this, open it up, kind of slide it through, and now you're ready to rock and roll. You're gonna do that on all four corners. Okay, so you can see that we have two on this corner and then the hard part, the kickstand, this is the hard part. This will be behind the panel. You've got two here. So let me show you how to connect the panel. It's a little awkward on camera, so bear with me. So next, you want to center the panel on the fabric, right? So you see the center on the fabric. And the reason why is you're going to connect one pin here. You're going to connect another there. Now, the bottom two don't need to be connected unless you have a really steep angle. Okay, but let's connect the top two. Take a look at that. Let me see if I can do this. So basically, we're just going to take this hook. We're going to connect it to the panel. See how it's holding on to the panel now? We're going to do the same thing 
with the other. Once it's connected, the hard board will act like a kickstand. All right. So now if I take this and turn it, okay, I will be able to lean this back like a kickstand. You see that? Now, and then you can obviously change your angle, but that's holding it like a kickstand. Again, this is the stiff part. All right. As you can see, and again, it's just holding it this way. And I just kind of like adjust these a little bit. Okay. And then they just kind of hold on, as you can see. Now, depending on how steep your angle is, you'll then probably connect these because you might actually be going as steep as this, depending on the sun's angle. It's not perfect, but it was pretty cool until you see the new one. So here's the new one. Again, as I said before, it does come with the uh, MC4 to XT60 solar cable, like both of them. So that's the same. But, you know, taking a look at the bag, it's pretty much the same bag. The difference is, is you're not using it as a kickstand. All right. So, you know, you've got a nice handle. Again, very comfortable handle. The zipper system is pretty much the same. So it's a nice uh, carry bag. Let me open this up. So as you can see now, this is just a bag. There's no kickstand, so we don't need it. So let's push this aside. Here is the new panel. Now it looks the same, right? Until you open it up and actually find out they've got built-in kickstands on this thing. Now we did do a solar test on this. I'll put the image in the upper right-hand corner and I'll put the link in the video description and towards the end of the video I'll even put a link you can click on in the video to see the new video and actually see the testing but this has uh, basically three panels all right and guess what it's got a built-in solar angle guide built in you don't have to buy it now with the other panel you could pick this up this is a solar angle guide from EcoFlow and it works really well. It's got that dot that creates the shadow. You don't really need to clip this on. I'll put a link in the video description for this if you want to pick it up. It works with any panel because really all you're doing is getting the right angle and putting this back in your pocket. You don't have to keep it on the panel. But let me uh, show you the other kickstand. You could see that it has two. And let me just set this up for a minute. Now, unlike the other panel, this one's easy to set up. All you have to do is pull out the two kickstands. That's really it. And they actually are adjustable. So if I pull these down, just to show you, with a camera in my hand, I'm done. I'm done. These basically are adjustable now, right? So that's adjustable too. But these can go down even further, which is nice. So. Let me change some angles real quick and show you. So that's probably going to be my highest angle, right? It's pretty much standing up. You know, I didn't pull the kickstands back, you know, much at all, to tell you the truth, as you could see. But let me show you it. I'll adjust it all the way down so you can see. Check that out. I mean, that's crazy. Look at the angle on these things. You know, and that strap really makes a difference. And the strap is actually screwed on really well, so it should last a while, I would hope. Right? But I'll put these two side by side for a minute so you can see it. Real quick, just wanted to show you some of the construction on the back because see it's hard to see. But these are screwed in. As you can see, they're screwed in. You got a nice strap, double stitched, it looks like all the way down. And uh, again, another screw holding the bottom. And then the solar angle guide right here. So there we go, side by side. Now, this one is definitely standing straighter and more even. Now, it only has three panels. They're larger panels, but they're still three panels, as you can see. Now, when we come to 
the uh, original 160, it's really not stable. It's on this bag, right? And so it's really not that straight. Let me come around, take a look from another angle. So it's, 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 it was nice, but the new one is definitely an upgrade. Now that is the highest I could get that, by the way. You know, and so let me go ahead and lower these both the best I could. So there they go. They're really the lowest they can be. All right, so this one, it's amazing. This thing is just like, look at the angles, right? I mean, this tells the story right here. Look at the one in the back and one in the front. So these do a really good job. I like them. I'm a big fan. And I like the solar angle guy built in, right? That's key. Now, the challenge with this one is the top of the bag can actually affect the panel because it can actually put a shadow on the panel at some point. It's not doing it now, but it is pretty straight. So that's good news. It is pretty straight. So to me, the newer panel is a huge upgrade because of the kickstands and the solar angle guide being built in to them. So really, really nice. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put the video up for the new 160 watt panel. The image is right there. And in a moment, I'm gonna put the words 160W in the upper right hand corner. And all you gotta do is click on that to see the video. It's coming up in a moment, okay? So get ready, here it goes. Click on the word 160W and you'll be able to see the new review and testing on the new 160 watt panel. I'll also put a link in the description. As promised, here is a bunch of information on the original on the left side and the new next gen on the right side. All right, hit pause if you want to review this. Uh, we're going to move on. All right, guys. Well, short and sweet. I really hope it helped you in making a decision on which one of these two to get. But if this video helped you in any way, do me a favor. Please take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. You'd be surprised to know how many people do this. Very few people give a thumbs up. The percentage is really low. And it's not because they don't like the video, because they comment and tell us they like the video. So give us that thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. And by the way, if you want to follow us on social media, go ahead and follow us right up there on social media. We'll put our channels right up there. In the upper right hand corner, we'll put our Tesla channel. If you want to look us up on YouTube at my Tesla journey one, you'll be able to check out our Tesla channel. It's a new channel. We're starting to put videos up. I'll put some videos on the right side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to our channel here at Tech Made Easy, I'm going to put a round logo right there. Click on that if you could, and you'll be able to subscribe and join the family. Guys, thanks so much and have a wonderful day.